Let's listen to the music for a little while, shall we? Uh, Amtrak, so for tonight and tomorrow night, I'm just running s the stock career scenarios that have come with some of the packs that have been released recently. Partly because I want to get them shown off. Secondly, because I just don't need the headache of planning and so forth at the moment. I want to get focus all my efforts on planning Friday, um, and then we can um, we can sort of get back into the rhythm after that. Right. Good morning, driver. This poor weather has been wreaking havoc on the lines today, and you're running late as a result of delays. I read that as you're running late as usual. <laughs> You'll have to make up for lost time, but drive carefully. <laughs> Open the doors to let passengers on board before departing for Stratford, calling at all stations along the way. Smacky button. <laughs> What's up with the schedule? Um, I haven't got a schedule at the moment. I've had a break because of broken computery stuff. Um, and um, £111.96 now. Ninja Joker has put in thirty pounds. Epic, epic, gentlemen, this is awesome. Really, really over the moon. Up to one hundred and eleven already. That's um. Right, I'll turn that off, and we'll put the proper lights on. Thank you. Put some wipers on. Put it in forward. Let's get this ready to go, shall we? What I don't know, of course, is whether or not I can use the rail driver. I haven't set it up. All passengers on board, you're now ready to depart for Stratford, calling at all stations en route. Yeah, I can use it. Excellent. Turn the wipers on. Right, we're on our way. Have I got my laptop fixed? No, my laptop's not broken. My laptop is being used for demonstrations and it will be for quite some time. Um, so, um, there's not a lot can be done about that. Um, what I'm waiting for is the desktop that I borrowed to be fixed. And um, that... Oh no, my brake's not doing anything. Okay, so I'm going to have to use the keyboard. I need to set up the uh, 378 on the rail driver, apparently. <laughs> um, well, it wouldn't have been big late. It would have been really, 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 really early and none of the stations in between had I not um, dealt with the brakes really quickly. Right. That's better. £111.96. That's... that's epic. So is the steam controller something you all want to see? Does that sound interesting? Right, we're off. 45 limit. The wiper is hypnotic, but entirely appropriate, except we're in a tunnel now, so I'm going to turn it off. Otherwise, Moggy will get upset. Am I using Track AR today? No, I'm not Deadly, Di I'm Deadly Dorito because I haven't finished setting this machine up yet. Um, I got almost everything on it, and I realised I hadn't got. Um... Oh, of course, that's why it doesn't work. Um, then I realised I hadn't got track IR. So, deep right. I'm going to do one more scenario after this. I'm going to do the class 59. Because the problem with driving the keyboard while I've got the rail driver running is the two fight with each other. Coming up on Hampstead, Heath. Mm. 
when do I think I have the normal train simulation? I don't have a clue. Um, so essentially, I'm borrowing my desktop from work, the one I normally use to do all my work on. Um, and um, I can doing that because I've got a few days off work, so I don't have to keep bringing it back on, bringing it back to the office. So it's an ideal time to bring it home. Um, I'm off until and including Tuesday, so there will be shows Monday and Tuesday, possibly also Sunday, depending on how I feel. Um, and how generous you all are. Hint, hint. URL. Um, and... Um, um, after that, I don't know, because this machine will have to go back and sit under my desk at work again. Um, and I can't bring it backwards and forwards every day because I have to walk three miles to work. Um, whether I'll get another, the other machine back that I was borrowing as a replacement, um, I don't know because the guy who was fixing it broke his wrist and um, he's been off ever since. So he's not had a chance to look at it at all. He is doing a lot better now. I'm hoping he'll be back to work very soon. But um, we shall have to see. Right, we're coming up to uh, 45 again. We've got a 20 limit coming up ahead of us, though. Cheers, Ethan Trans. Yes, I walked to work, BNSF. It's not far down the road. Sometimes I cycle, but... Most of the time I just walk, because Cameron and I walk together, because his school is sort of halfway to my work. Uh, Franny, yeah, if you're doing a donation, it needs to be done through Just Giving, and then it goes to the charity. I don't have any direct donations uh, direct to myself. Not yet, at least. Ah, uh, come on, we're coming in three seconds late. I can deal with three seconds late. That's not the end of the world. Are the DTG offices modelled in London Faversham? No, they're not, because the DTG offices are actually quite away from the um, the track. Ah, come on, just stop drive quality, murdering my score. I just pressed the wrong button briefly. Why not save and get a custom made PC? I, I would do. Um, there'd be no stream for about four months. <laughs> so uh, I am trying to work out how I get myself a PC of my own. Um, but um, I don't have that much spare at the end of each month. So saving for a PC will take quite a long time. Um, so all I can do is wait until I can get this PC fixed. That's the quickest way to get a machine back. Right, off we go. Kentish Town West, 0.62 miles. Evening, PJT. Thank you for the donation. Oh, I forgot that was a 20. Kentish Town West is where we're heading now. Camden Road is coming up. Uh, I think Fringe said uh, to have a look at Kentish Town West for something, so we'll have to try and have a look around when we get there. Got another 20 limit coming up. Uh, there'll be no team speak on the 24 hour stream at all, Joe, no. Get the 
doors open? No. Camden Road. So this is Kentish Town West. This is the route where we are now, so we're heading this way, we're going into Stratford. And then this is the, um, the Wilsdon part here, heading down towards Richmond. Uh, yes, the FSX 24 hour will be multiplayer. It just won't have the team speak, that's all. Right, carrying on now. We've got a 45 limit, dropping to a 20. Uh, PJT, will the 24 hour be getting broadcast on the Nuthouse page? I'm not sure. I'm going to drop Squirrel an email and see what um, see what he'd be able to do. I'm not going to guarantee anything. He may have a lot of other plans. I know they've got their Macmillan thing going on. Alex Phillips, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Right. <clears throat> How are the prices for DLCs decided by people who know lots and lots and lots about this stuff? I have no idea what the uh, process is, but I know they have one. There we go. Alex Phillips, 24 hour stream starts at 1 pm on Friday. Twenty limit as we depart from Camden Road. We get the 40 just coming up here once the rest of the train is in the uh, in there. Uh, Franny, I'll, I'll be doing um, or Franny, sorry, I'll be doing some um, Amtrak scenarios on the Friday stream. I haven't got anything for Thursday and Friday that are Amtrak though. Nothing so far anyway. Caledonian Road and Barnsbury, Platform 3 is our next station. It's a 40 limit, not a 45 limit, you plum. Unlikely we'll see the AEM-7 because I don't really do um, the Northeast Corridor route. I've had nothing but trouble with it in streaming, so um, I decided not to really look at that one. I did look around at Camden Road, but um, obviously didn't show what you were looking for, um, Fringe. I don't have a list of scenarios diddly diddly because I haven't worked it out yet. That's the point of why I've taken Friday off work. So some point tomorrow the list will get published and you can then see it, but I don't actually have it done yet. Uh, 
Now, the good news, folks, is we are coming in early for this stop. Not very, but a little. Oh, I thought I did look down over the points. Obviously, different points. <laughs> Sorry. We did eventually stop. Got a coach out the front, but... Uh... Oh, you're not going to let me stop. Why can't I go backwards? Have we gone into overhead or something? What? What's going on? Why won't it let me go backwards? Okay. What have I done wrong? Oh, here we go. It just wanted to wait until I was late, that's all. But I'm on overhead power. Yeah, pantograph was up. Right, doors are open. Um, well, it's a combined handle, so I've only got the A and the D keys, and I was using them, so... I don't know why the brakes were still on. Never mind, we're ready to go now. I did something wrong, no doubt. What I wonder if when I pressed the T key, it did the interlocking thing. Um, locked the brakes so that I couldn't release the brakes, and I had to wait until effectively the interlocking got released, or something along those lines. No, there'll be no gold tonight. Oh, definitely not. If I'm lucky, there'll be a bronze. Forty limit, and the next station is Highbury and Islington. Green light as we cross over into the left hand side here. Kevrev, yes, this headwear is indeed in aid of the charity stream. Can you get points for being early? No, you can't. That was taken out, and it was because it, basically what it did was it encouraged you to drive like a nutter. And you'd sort of what people were doing is they were working out is the um, the benefit of arriving early does it outweigh the cost of overspeeding? As strange as that sounds, and in some cases it actually worked out well in your much more in your favour, and so people would um, would overspeed considerably through things, knowing that they'd get their points back. So someone said to look at Highbury in Islington. I've no idea what I'm looking for because I don't really know the area, but um, over there, is that it? No, that's just terrain. Right, time to get going. 40 limit as we leave Highbury and Islington. Next station is Canterbury, half a mile. Good night, Deadly Dorito.
For some reason, I'm doing, having to do all these stops on notch one. The brakes aren't ever applying anymore. I wonder if the rail driver's getting in the way. Because I haven't set it up. Dalston Junction. Yep. Yeah, looking at the brake cylinder value, even though I've put it at level 3 braking, it's not actually gone up at all. This is Canterbury. Dalston is next. Don't know how far we'll get. There you go, there's Dalston down there. New track because it's brand new laid actually as well. Right, forty limit as we leave. Dalston Kingsland is the next station. Feels odd, moving my head isn't having any impact at all on the game. It just doesn't feel right. Dave is back and with beer. Excellent. If you like beer. I don't, so that's fine. <laughs> Uh, we're only six seconds late at the moment, so I'm not going to complain too loud. Apologies for my mouse, I need to get the auto hide thing installed. Hey there, Sunset Limited. Ah, it's 10 seconds late. I can live with that. Turn in wipers off before Moggy gets upset. Cheers, Darkness. Thanks for joining. If you haven't seen what Darkness is building on Minecraft on the Minecraft server, by the way, it's enormous. Right, 40 limit. I uh, going up to a 45. Hackney Central is next station. 0.82. We can put wipers on now. Uh, Sunset Limited, yes, 24-hour li 24 live stream is indeed on uh, Friday, starting at 1 p.m. What he's building is a kind of a coliseum, but it's enormous. I mean, we had to get 150,000 blocks of stone to make it work. Plus, I think, 80,000 of a different kind of stone, and... Something, you know, ridiculous. It was insane. I think I needed to give him 3,000 torches. Franny's driving the Acela. Superb. I like the Acela. Coming in Hackney Central. How long am I on for tonight? This one and one more. So, um, 
Not sure how long that equates to, but probably be until about half past midnight. There or thereabouts. Ooh, brakes went into notch two. Yeah, see on the car, I need to sort out the PC situation. It's on my, my want list. Unfortunately, my want list is my um, tough list. <laughs> Because if I'm going to buy a PC, there's no point buying a cheap one. I've got to buy one that will actually run the game, you know, like this one does. And um, this machine I'm running now was not a cheap PC. It was, it was bought for um, so that I could do virtual reality stuff, amongst other things. So it's um, quite high spec. Homerton is next. Half a mile. 45 limit. Matty, when will AI have working wipers? I have no idea. Uh, EWS, if there's anything you would like to see on the stream, then the uh, best thing to do is to find scenarios and um, um, recommend them uh, via the suggestion form. If someone can just do the exclamation mark scenario thing, there's a, that the link is shown. Uh, Steam and Jam VR in 2016 confirmed. You know what? I have my own version of Train Sim where I've already bent the DK2 to work in it, and it actually is possibly the most epic thing ever um, but it's horrifically hacked and there's no way it's releasable so uh, I'm not and there's no plans to release it for a very long list of very good reasons to be perfectly honest it's um, it's not good um, in terms of being a complete experience but uh, in terms of driving trains in VR <laughs> excellent Why not accept uh, view donations for you to save up for that PC? Because I can't accept money from viewers at the moment. Um, it's part of my. It's it's all part of the reason why I can't go partner or subscriber uh, um, or on YouTube or Twitch or anything like that. Um, Sunset, can I show you a tool, Stephen? Well, there's not much point because you would unless you actually have a VR headset on. It doesn't make any difference. It just looks weird and warped. Um, so there's not really much point where you could, I could just put a headset on and show you me waving my head around like this and you'd be like, oh wow, and I'd just tell you how great it is. But I wouldn't need to actually have it running for that. <laughs> I could just tell you. Oh look, it's really good, isn't it? So yeah, that's the difficulty of VR. It's very difficult difficult to share the experience. Uh, Sunset Limited, will I record 24 live stream? Everything I do is recorded. What I will then do is um, split it up. Um, into each scenario, and up, and each scenario will go up, or each section will go up separately. Right, we're on our way to Hackney Wick now, point eight of a mile. Twenty-five limit up ahead. To be honest, Stephen Jam, I wouldn't get a DK2. Not now that the um, the full headsets are uh, just around the corner. DK2 has a long list of things wrong with it, but it's dev kit. It's for developers who are able to deal with those problems or put up with them. Um, so yeah, I would uh, hold off until the final dev the final release kits come out. Um, you'll be a lot more impressed with those, I think. Right, we're coming into Hackney Wick, 25 miles per hour limit in this area. <coughs> yeah, Steam VR looks good. The new Oculus is very good as well. I've had a play with the new Oculus. Um, the one they've been talking about in the press. I went to Oculus recently for a, uh, a developer day, and that's that's an impressive piece of kit as well. So they're they're both good. They're both very good.
Right, let's get the door sh doors open. Shrillers haven't taken any screenshots, so let's let's do that. No one's saying, Matt, you're not taking screenshots. That'll do. That's a couple of screenshots. Why are you not starting 24 hour stream till 1, not earlier? Um, to allow people, because a lot of people are going to be, at, like kids are going to be at school or people are going to be at work. So if I start at 9am, um, then there'll be a lot of people who can't see it. And so I'll start at the beginning of the stream with no one watching. Um, so I thought I'd start at 1 o'clock so it's halfway between the area essentially. So people will be sort of finishing work at 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, they can start joining in, they'll have only missed 3 or 4 hours. And um, anyone who can start in the morning, um, they only have to wait a little bit before the stream starts properly anyway. So it's it's kind of, you know, that that's really my um, uh, my aim. I can't please everybody, to be perfectly honest. No matter what time I start, it'll be inconvenient for somebody. So I've sort of picked a time. And I guess time will tell whether or not I've actually got the right time or not. Time will tell if I've got the right time. There you go. Apparently there's a poet in me. Here coming up to Stratford now. But it's a 24 hour stream, which means everyone can just turn up when they want to. Unless I was to do it on a Saturday, but the whole point of doing it on the Friday is because in the UK, it's the Friday that we actually have the Children in Need telethon, and I want to be doing it during that time. So it's got to be on the um, Friday night. Yellow light as we come into Stratford Platform 1. The main line of the Gemmel is over there on the right. Gouge is off, so he's hopefully going to be there at the start. Fantastic. Coming in 20 seconds early at this point. Fifteen mile per hour limit as we come through here. There's the Gemmel on the right. This is the first time I've driven this part of the route. I've stood on this platform quite a bit and um, looked at trains, particularly when the um, 378s were first launched. Actually, Cameron and I sat stood on this stood on this platform for about four or five hours, waiting for the one 378 that was in circuit to uh, to make it back. <laughs> We did eventually do, though, which was good. We didn't come into this platform, we came into the other one, but still. Stratford is awesome for train spotting. We we spent actually quite a bit of time just on Stratford at various places. And but sometimes we actually when we walk in at Westfield we'll stand up here and uh, and look at the trains. Because uh, Westfield shopping centre is down here. Doesn't look quite like that, but near enough. Westfield shopping centre accuracy is not really the point of this route. <laughs> Cheers, Morgan Allen. Excellent run, driver. 946. Folks, do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? 
I don't, for certain. God! 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 Number two! Medal number three! Okay, I'm a little excitable, apparently, tonight. <clears throat> <coughs> Calm down. Calm down. Chill. One more scenario to do. <sighs> Nine four six, Claude. What does that mean, Joe? <laughs> How long is the next scenario? Uh, I can't remember. I think forty minutes was the one I was going to do. Four zero, possibly. I'm going to have a look now, though. I'll have a drink first. So, um, first gold medal. That's not my first. I've got one earlier on. Second gold medal. Third medal. Right, anyway, back in a minute. 